Hey guys, me again. Um, on, I'm going to go into a case here where there is a violent sex offender, uh, rapist after returning to Nina. So on the, I believe March 12, 2007, uh, Joseph Cummins was sentenced to 50, 15 years uh, for the rape of 75 year old after breaking into her house. Uh, he was found guilty by the uh, by a jury at the Central Criminal Court in Limerick. As he was being led from the court, he turned to the family of the victim saying, uh, this is not over yet. Uh, the judge was reluctant to impose a life sentence as he would have had to serve over 55 years. Uh, Cummins was declared a sex offender by the court and was ordered to undergo 10 years of post-release supervision. Uh, in her vic in the victim, in her impact statement, uh, said that she had moved from the house and her life had literally been turned upside down by the ordeal. The crime reportedly happened while he, while he, Joseph Cummins, was on bail for a previous conviction. So we have fast forward to um, New Year's Eve 2020, uh, 13 years after the crime was committed, and he's released from Port Leach Prison, where reporters from the Sunday World confront him outside and basically ask him if he shows any remorse for what he did, or you know if he's any way apologetic to the victim's family. And there was somewhat of an angry confrontation where he wasn't going to apologise to anyone. I uh, boarded a bus, headed back to the same town which he committed the crime, and was welcomed home by his family, where he was then whisked off to a flat that had been secured for him while he was obviously inside. Since then, the town has literally been on tender hooks. Uh, protests have been held daily, even nightly outside uh, where his parents reside. Since he's come home, he's lost the flat. Uh, the landlord, I think, personally kicked him out, although uh, I think I'm not sure whether that was the case if he was literally told to kick him out or something was going to happen to the flat or he found out who was living there. Um, either way, the flat would have had to have been got for him by family members uh, but I'll get to I'll get to that later um, his family then released a statement through Facebook um, saying that they never wanted Joseph Cummins back in town and their support and condolences are with the victim's family um, I don't doubt that I do doubt the first claim, however, um, because he has been, since he's been kicked out of the flat, he has been seen both coming to and from the family home and uh, walking freely to and from, I may say. Um, the statement is also a direct contradiction that if they didn't want him back in town, they wouldn't have got a flat for him. They would have had to have got a flat for him because there was no way he would be able to get it from behind bars. And they would not have welcomed him back, welcomed him back to the family home because to be released from prison, you have to have an address to be released to, which meant they, uh, they welcomed him back. So the, the report there is um, uh, a complete contradiction. What I would say if I was to believe that report, is that Nina will now be dealing with a homeless, violent, registered sex offender who has a penchant, obviously, for sexual assault, but grievous bodily harm and grand theft auto from uh, previous convictions, which he has a lot of. Uh, he was reportedly out on bail to begin with when this crime happened. And that was for the assault, I presume, and arson of a vehicle and breaking a local man's arm. An old man, I believe. Um, if I am wrong, I would like to be corrected in the comments. But either way, um, 
there are groups of people following him around, updating online where he is at all times. That is a very good idea. I am very happy, very I'm delighted that the people of the town, especially the estate he, he um, has been seen in, are all protesting his parents' house, the ones that welcomed him home to begin with, and now say they want nothing to do with him. Um, that's all well and good. It, it's great to see, but he, he will, I mean, I mean, technically, if he has been kicked out of a house, he is now homeless and a sex offender, which it puts an awful lot of people at risk, especially, you know, with what he's done and previous convictions. Um, what I would say is that this man is akin to Larry Murphy, um, who was eventually hounded out of the country. It, it's believed he's in England now. Um, what I would say is Ireland, any town in general, do not need him in their town at all and if on Facebook you see the picture being shared of this man being shared around share it around because if he eventually moves from Nina to another town people will need to know um, who he is and what he's done as a registered sex offender in this country I don't believe this is like the US. Uh, citizens aren't readily able to look up what sex offenders are living in their area. So there is, in this country there is a certain anonymity to be on the list, whereas in the likes of the US you are on the list and any member of the public can see who you are, what you've done and where you live. This is not the case in Ireland, unfortunately. So, like I said, if you see a picture of him going around Facebook or anywhere else, share it because he will eventually move from Nina because people are making his life misery. You know, not making him famous, making him infamous, making him, you know, it, it's it's not like it's just the people who've needed the Irish Examiner, uh, the Sunday World. There, there's been numerous publications um, in on this story, even at the protests outside his house, which, which do go on, you know, and fair play. Um, They've been put. They've been um, put up live on Facebook. So I have no doubt that if you go and look, you will see. And hundreds, it seems, do show up to these, and mostly all concerned residents. But any concerned citizen of the town, remember, should show up to these and show support for these people who are obviously um, going through a lot of. Um, turmoil I suppose because it's their families, it's their kids, their grandparents or whatever that are now um, in the midst of all this and plus it's a good idea because 15 years ago there's you know we all know you know, everyone in the town knew what happened whatever but now there's a new breed of people a new generation that don't know who he is, what he is, what he's done, and these people need to know exactly who he is, what he is, and what he's done. And they need to know exactly what he's done so they won't be too interested in confronting him. Just stay away from him because there's no doubt he's dangerous. Um that that's really all I gotta say in this, that's just if you see his picture on Facebook, share it around. It needs to get out to someone like this is on the streets. 
especially if he's now declared homeless because he doesn't technically have a place of residence. Um, just remember that if he leaves Nina, he very well could move to a town uh, you're in. Could move to the capital, could move to just plenty of places he could go. But you need to know who he is. Um, what I would say is, you know, look after yourselves, look after your family. And remember that there are bad people out there, but there are good people trying to get the word out about these people. And other than that, I will say, guys, uh, happy 2021 over and out. Uh, hit me up in the comments, whatever. Just be respectful of what's going on. Thanks very much.